Today we are speaking about important definition in obstetric as general and especially in normal labor. The first definition, what's meant by fetal line. It is a relation between longitudinal axis of the fetus to longitudinal axis to of the mother. Either it's parallel to each other and this is longitudinal lie or oblique to each other and known oblique lie or at right angle to each other and known as a transverse lie. The second important aspect what's meant by attitude. Attitude, it is relation of different parts of the body to each other, especially the uh, head either it is flexed, deflexed, extended, or hyperextended. Also, the third definition is presentation. What's meant by presentation? It is lowermost portion of the fetus or first part enter the pelvis of the fetus or the part felt during BV examination. The most common one is cephalic. The head is the lowermost portion in a longitudinal lie and cephalic presentation. Also, in transverse lie, it's presentation mostly shorter presentation. Also, the head extended or hyperextended, the presentation either brow or face, or presentation either in the buttock or leg, known as breech presentation. We say it's cephalic in more than 96% of case, breech in 3% of case, other presentation, uh, transverse or complex presentation. This is table demonstrates the relation between presentation, attitude, and denominator. What's the denominator? It's a new definition. We find it. Denominator is a pony landmark or any landmark in a presenting part, which can determine the position of the presenting part. In a case of the head or vertex, the presentation is occiput. Occiput, in a case of uh, brow, the, the denominator is brow. In case of face, face the, the denominator is mandible or chin. In a case of breach, the denominator is sacrum. In, in a shoulder presentation or transverse slides, the denominator is acrum. Look here, the most common presentation, as we said, cephalic in more than 96% of the case. Eyes are the head flexed, and this is lead to vertex occipital anterior or mildly deflexed which lead to vertex occipital posterior, and both of them denominator is occiput, either occiput anterior or posterior, or transverse. Or the presenting part is brow, and head extended, and the denominator is brow. Or the presenting part in highly or maximally extended uh, neck or head, the presenting part face, and the denominator here is mandible or chin. Or in case of breach, the denominator is sacrum, or shorter denominator is acrum. We notice in the breach and shorter, the attitude is not so important because there is no mobility in two presenting parts. But in a head, the, uh, uh, the attitude is very important due to mobility of the neck. Another definition is called position. Position is a relation of denominator to the maternal um, vertebral colon or towards the maternal position. We look here, the denominator in vertex presentation, as we said, is occiput. If the occiput is anterior to the mother, this is called occipital anterior. Either to the right side, say right occipital anterior, or to the left side, we see left occipital anterior. This is direct occipital posterior. Uh, the most common uh, uh, position left occipital anterior. Engagement. What's meant by engagement? Engagement passage of largest transverse diameter through the pelvic inlet. Largest transverse diameter through the pelvic inlet. In a case of the head, the largest Transverse diameter is biparietal diameter passage through the inlet. It means the lowermost portion 
here at the level of the ischial spine when the head passes through the pelvic inlet and known as station zero. What's the meant by station? A station is a relation to the lowermost portion of the presenting bar to the bony landmark of the mother, which is ischial spine. If it is at, at the level of the ischial spine, it's no station zero. If the below ischial spine, station plus one by one centimeter, or plus two by two centimeter, or plus three, if the below ischial spine by three centimeter. If it's above, it's no minus one, minus two, minus three. We can determine this either BV or abdominal in this as in this diagram. We notice if the head completely above the pelvic brim, the brim, this is station minus three. If the for most of the head above the pelvic brim, this is station minus two. Nearly more than the half of the head above the pelvic brim, this is station minus one. If the more than half of the head below the pelvic brim, this is station zero, then station plus one, then station plus two. <clears throat> what is meant by crowning? Crowning, similar to engagement, but as regard pelvic outlet. Crowning, the passage of large is transverse diameter through pelvic outlet, and means that the head will deliver. There is no bony obstruction, the head bust inlet and cavity and outlet, and this is called the clouding. In this picture, if this level here, station above the pelvic brim, we call the floating head, here is engaged head, and when passing pelvic outlet, this is called crowning. It is an important landmark because I should do absolutely only after crowning. 